Okay, so hi guys. Um, so in this video, what I'm going to do is yet another example over how to, um, how to actually do, uh, limits of, you know, of square root functions or radical functions mixed by taking, uh, the conjugate specifically. Um, so, uh, let's see. One second, guys. I'm trying to see if maybe I can... Okay. All right. Okay, so... Um, so we have this problem here, and we, we want to find the limit, right? And, um, by the way, um, like I said, this these limits, most likely they are, uh, you know, they're indeterminate. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this one, and... It says the limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2, right? So, um, so the way that this works, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do direct substitution. So I'm going to write the limit down. The limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 all over x minus 2. And again, by, uh, you know, basically what I'm going to do here is the limit as x approaches 2. So as x approaches 2, the square root of x minus 1, minus 1, all over x minus 2. Right? And, um, and we're just going to go ahead and do this. So basically, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and and um, do this one. So by direct substitution, we're just going to plug it in. So we're going to plug in x equals uh, two, right? So we have the following the square root of 2 minus 1 minus 1 all over 2 minus 2, right? And we know that by just evaluating that, we get the square root of 1 minus 1 over 0, and this becomes 1 minus 1 over 0, which me and, and then this becomes 0 over 0, which means, oh no, right? So always remember that, oh no, means that, you know, we need to do other things to find this limit, right? It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It means that we have to do other things. So, so then what do we do, right? We always, when it comes to square roots, we always take the conjugate. So uh, the square root of x minus one, minus one, all over x minus one, or I'm sorry, x minus two, excuse me, we're going to take the conjugate of the top, right? Now, of course, if I, if my original is uh, the square root of x minus 1 minus 1, then my conjugate will just be the square root of x minus 1 plus 1, right? So just the middle uh, symbol changes, the middle um, arithmetic, the, the negative changes. So we're going to multiply, we're going to multiply here by the conjugate. And, um, and so, like I said, this is, this itself is the conjugate. And um, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we get times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 on top and bottom. Now, when we do this, of course, this is what we have so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a product of two things. So this is one part, and then this is the other part, right? And then on the bottom, I'm going to do over x minus 2, and then I'm going to multiply this whole thing of 
the square root of x minus 1 plus 1, like that. And the bottom, we are not going to distribute it. Now, notice that we have a product of uh, the sum and difference pattern, right? So it's just like the, the last problem that I did. Um, you know, so basically we have we have a squared, I'm sorry, we have a minus b times a plus b, right? And, uh, and, and so the way that, and let me actually color code this. So we have the square root of x minus 1, and let's do um, minus 1. Let's do minus 1. times the square root, and again, it's going to be times the square root of x minus 1, and then we're going to have a plus 1 here. So I'm just rewriting the top, and I'm color coding it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And all over, and I have x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1. Plus one and like I said we're not gonna cancel the we're not gonna cancel anything here I mean we have to do some indifference pattern so like I said um, it has to go like this it's a minus B so it goes a minus B times a plus B right so let me go ahead and write this down So again, we're using the sum and difference pattern here. So the top here becomes the following, and we're going to do, so it's going to be the quantity, the square root of x minus 1, and then quantity squared minus the quantity 1, quantity squared, right? And on the bottom, it's just going to be the what I what we put over here, x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1, right? So we have to kind of be careful with that, right? And this is just like the last problem only, you know, it's... You know, I wouldn't say this problem is that bad, but, you know... Um, okay, so then the, the squared and the square root cancel out, so we're just going to be left with x minus 1, and then minus 1, because that's 1 squared is 1, right, over x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. And so, um, and so we're just going to combine like terms. So really we have x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. And like I said, combining like terms, which are, you know, these two things here, we're left with x minus 2 over x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1, which basically just becomes, so that cancels out, and we're just left with 1 over square root of x minus 1 plus 1. So now we're going to go ahead and take the limit of that. So if we look from the original uh, limit, it was the limit as x approaches 2. So we're going to say again not that this now is our new, uh, our new um, expression that we're evaluating the limit for. So we're going to say the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 over square root of x minus 1 plus 1, and we're going to do direct substitution. And we, we're going to say 1 over square root, and like I said, it's going to be x minus 1. And I always like to color code my variable before I actually substitute it in so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're going to substitute x equals 2 because that's our limit, right? So then we have x equal to 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, plus 1, which is 1 over the square root of 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 half. And that is our limit. So therefore, 
the limit as x approaches 2 of the following. And we had our original limit was the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2. is going to equal to 1 half. So that is our limit, and that is how we do this following problem. So like I said, we have to understand that with these, um, when, it, when it involves a radical and a fraction like this, um, we always take the conjugate. So um, with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If anybody does have any questions, please let me know. Also, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And, um, and also, please click the notification bell to get more um, updates on my content when I post on YouTube. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.